and here it is. This is nether quartz that I just mined. Drops nether quartz, of course. I was trying to be really dramatic there, but it kind of failed. This really is just a new dimension, and that's it. But you can make some pretty cool stuff with nether quartz. Like, you can basically turn anything into a Roman structure. Also, this ground you see, it's netherrack, it burns infinitely if you light it on fire. And this here, soul sand, as you can see, it slows you down when you walk on it. And it slows you down to, like, a stop if you sneak on it. And that right there is a zombie pigment. They are neutral until you attack one. And as you can see, that is another rack. And here's some more zombie pigmen. Also, there's gravel in the nether. I've never understood that. It did, why is there normal stuff here? Like, here, lava flows as if... Here, lava flows the way water flows in the normal world. So clearly, it's not supposed to have gravel. But, I'm serious, you can just... Also, everything here... That... You just heard? That's a ghast. Um, they shoot fireballs attack on sight. I sound like a tour guide right now. Ooh... Close to... And that's a mushroom, like I said. They're everywhere here. But glowstone, it gives off light, because it's a rock that's glowing, and it's glowstone. Oh, that gas is really close. Gas fireballs explode. It's, it's not the zombie pigmen. They, that's what they sound like, that combination snort and... Hmm. Now, where is that ghast? I want to snipe it. They're pretty much all head, quite literally. They look like Martians from War of the Worlds. If you've read the book or seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, where's the portal? That obsidian gate that I lit on fire, that turned into a purple swirling vortex, that is the portal. It created one here as well, as you hopefully noticed. I don't even pay attention to those ones that get created anymore, until I need to go back. You are going to be cheating a lot in the nether. There it is. Hang on, just gonna use this. Like, as you can see, that lava should not flow like that. It should not have flowed that quickly. Um, you don't want to get lost in the nether, since it is pretty monotonous. I mean, just that infinite lava sea. I should take my own advice next time. My landmark is that lava waterfall right there. Lava fall. But as you can see, there's tunnels. Another, it's really dangerous. Second most dangerous place to be. Especially if you're stupid and do this. As you can see, that is what happens when you do that. Also, you go through portals instantly and create one. Why did I not? Oh, and by the way, zombie pigmen can spawn from portals.
Just thought I'd mention that. Kind of an interesting thing to know. Did I get all my stuff back? No, oh, where's my sword? I think one of them stole it. They can do that. They can um, take your sword. But yeah, zombie pigmen will come through portals occasionally. I think that was actually inspired by something the Oxcast did in their SLI series. I'll put a link in the video description. But yeah, glowstone dust. Can craft that into glowstone blocks. There. And as you can see, that made glowstone. Um. In the nether room, randomly, um, nether skulls, um, I'm not nether skulls, um, wither skeletons, um, will generate, just randomly, seriously, and they are always a nuisance, I lost one of my iron swords, no big deal, but as you can see, this guy does not care. I really feel like there should be something dramatic happening right now. But no. That's basically the nether so far. I don't have the guts or the gear to explore it much further. But I'm sorry that it had to be such a bad cliffhanger. I was almost like a Deus Ex Machina moment. You still don't know Latin. That means God from the machine. It's where something totally unexpected happens. That just ruins the plot generally. Take Lord of the Flies, for example. Just read it, and at the end, it's a Deus Ex Machina thing. By the way, um, this flower, which is a dandelion and this rose, you can craft those into dyes to dye wool and sheep. As you can see, you can do that, and you can mix them with other colors, like, that makes orange, that makes purple. That doesn't do anything. I know. Yeah, that also doesn't do anything. Um, I don't know all the dye combinations. I think, can you make something like that now? I don't know all the dye combinations, but bone meal also works as a dye to turn things paler. Like, that's gray. Which you can make light gray. But not dark gray. Um, you can make purple, well, you can't do anything with purple, never mind. You can make pink, and 
I think if you can... Yeah, that makes magenta. And there's just a lot of dyes. You can't use redstone, obviously. But, yeah. I really honestly feel like... That... You know what? I'm gonna put this series on hold. For... Like... Three months. Whatever. I'm I'm gonna put a poll to you guys. Well, it'll be three months for me, probably like one or two months for you. I'm going to ask you: Should I keep doing this, or should I do something similar to Shadow of Israel, which the Ox did? If you think that I should. I'll just say this. I'll keep doing this until the next season. And then I'll split it. I'm The thing is, I originally had planned to do like an SOI spin-off. But and I got quite a ways through it. But it was like literally the same thing, only done a bit differently. And so, I actually ended up scrapping it. Because, I don't like plagiarism. But yeah, if you really think I should do that, if you're a fan of both my work and the Oxcast's work, and you want to see the two mix, don't, oops, don't be afraid to speak up. I, I'll do what you guys want, it's just that, I thought it might not be too widely accepted, but like, If half the, like, if more than half the people in the YouTube comments section, um, on this video, or on my channel, or on the playlist, say, you should do it, I'm gonna do it. Otherwise, I won't. I'm serious, more than 50% by the beginning of next season. And that's... That's final. I mean, if you want it right now, you're gonna have to learn how to be patient because... The scripting, the casting, the map editing alone. I mean, and also I'm gonna hold a poll to see, like, I'm gonna ask you guys. What, how should I go about it? Like, should I make it a direct SOI spinoff? And use the script that I worked on for a while, and the map I worked on for a while? Should I make it my own adventure script thing? I, I honestly am putting this question to you. Um, should I? I mean... Right now, a few people have watched my video. Like, well, actually, probably just one person. Like, one person has watched my video. I think. 
and I say video because at the time that I'm filming this, only one person. Wait, at the beginning of next season, if anyone has watched this video, like if at least two people watch this video, at least three people watch this video. Other than myself and people who I know are going to watch it just because they know. Um, if more than three people aside from them watch it and comment. Um, saying whether I should or shouldn't. I'm going to go... If the majority says yes, I'll do yes, otherwise I won't. But really, it's up to you guys what I do. The Ox cast went about it their way. I'm going about it mine. Also, if you want me to include my friend Duncan, um, I can do that. Like, as a co-actor, like in the Ox cast. Honestly, it's up to you. I mean that. I do not care if everyone hates it when I do it, saying, oh, you, you said you were going to do something totally original. Why are you doing something so unoriginal? Or saying, you said you were going to do something that was a direct ripoff of the Yogg's cast. Why are you doing something so original? Well, things happen. I change plans, I run out of time, and I go with gut instinct sometimes over popular demand. I, I don't care what other people think, except when I'm at a loss for what to do myself. just doing this because I just have this gut feeling that it's what I should be doing. But that might just be from watching too much Dogs cast. I've watched the entire series so many times. But, let's just get past that. The way you make another quartz block is like this. Um, you can make chiseled, I think. How do you make chiseled? Is only... I don't know how you make chiseled. I think it's nine quartz blocks, but you can make pillars like that. Which I really like. Actually, it's the chisel. No. Yeah, no. That I 
don't know. I like this. No, that's the slab. Maybe. I honestly cannot remember. I think it is nine. But look, the point I'm trying to make is people well, they're people. They have their own opinions. I I have my personal opinion about this and I don't want to impose it on anyone. 